it is said to become deeply aware. Now we already live in problems and challenges. We already live in incompletenesses. We already live in the quest to achieve something, become something. When it is said become deeply aware, we add one more item to our list of problems. And that item now is awareness. Oh, there is so much to do and achieve. And the next item is awareness. The words of a wise man must be read with wisdom, with empathy. Hmm? But must be alert whether <coughs> one is able to cross over his personal ways of interpreting. Words might mislead. There is nothing called becoming aware. Read it as unbecoming unaware. We have become unaware. Awareness is over awareness, there is a shroud of illusory unawareness. <coughs> Over the innate awareness, there is a cloud of assumed unawareness. The aware core is shrouded by Assumed unawareness, which has no substance. There, there is no fact in that unawareness. You just have to see that there is no fact in your assertion that there exists unawareness. So you unbecome unaware. You cannot become aware. Awareness is not something that you can achieve or become or reach. It is. You getting it? Now you see how driven and tense you feel when the problem of awareness confronts you. The problem of awareness. Awareness means that in any given situation, even in the worst of situations, even in the most challenging of the situations, you still have the capacity, the capability, the right to understand. That is what is meant by saying that awareness always is. Even when the world is overwhelming you, still it is not mandatory that you will succumb. This not mandatoriness implies an unconditional awareness that need not be reached. An awareness that is inviolable. No penetration can ever dent it. And is it not something that you already know? Even in the moment of your death, you can be still, composed, calm. That is what is meant by the inviolable certainty of awareness. That stillness is awareness. You might be receiving a thousand wounds physically or mentally 
and yet there is something in you that remains unwounded. You know that. That is what is meant by the innateness of awareness. It is untouchable. The world may have given you a lot of knowledge. The world may have filled up your consciousness. Yet there is something within you that presides over that consciousness, that presides over all your knowledge. That is what is meant by the intrinsic nature of awareness. World gives you knowledge. But how do you understand? The mathematics book is telling you everything about mathematics. Is it also telling you about how to understand mathematics? Mathematics is knowledge. Understanding is awareness. And don't you know mathematics? If you know mathematics, you also know that awareness is an indispensable sureness. It's a total certainty that never deserts you. Are you getting it? That is what is meant by awareness. Now this awareness is not a matter of becoming. Will the mathematics book also teach you? The very fundamentals and when I say the very fundamentals that means going to the very depths of consciousness. The mathematics book assumes that you can understand. For the author of the book pro probably it is a very obvious assumption. But the peace of entire kind, mankind depends on this that is so obvious and yet so very missed. Right now your consciousness might be registering the words that are coming from me. But there is something else that is relating so fully with these words, with the speaker, with the air, the night, the whole, the whole presence. That is awareness. That awareness has no shape, form or object. When it knows, it knows without concluding and yet with full certainty. If you ask, what are you aware of? Awareness will not be able to tell. At most, if you are too insistent and awareness must console you, it would say, I am not unaware. <coughs> It will just say, I am not unaware. It will still not say, I am aware of this and that. Awareness is so total. Knowledge is always small, little. That is why those who live in knowledge never find peace. They keep hunting for more and more knowledge. They say, I need to know more before you know I can make up my mind. And the mind actually never gets made up. Or you can say it only gets made up. Awareness is not dependent on knowledge. It just knows. Just knows. How do you know that the sound of the waterfall is so sweet? How do you know that peace is wonderful? Tell me. Which book taught it to you? And had books not taught it to you, would you have not known that peace is wonderful? How do you know that you must like the truth? That is awareness. How do you fall in love? That is awareness. Right? And that is not a matter of acquiring knowledge, reaching somewhere, becoming somebody, advancing in life or anything. The illiterate tribal in his own way 
knows love. That is awareness. And his surrender to his awareness might be deeper than that of the literate, urban, knowledgeable man. Awareness does not depend on civilization or the product of man's mind. You getting it? If you're literate, you may know 20 poems on love. You may know definitions of love. It's quite possible that the tribal will know love. That is awareness. Awareness that is innate, not borrowed from somewhere, not a matter of becoming. <coughs> Are you getting it? Can we say that it is our own, it is our free will? If you want to give names, you can give it any name. You can call it absolute freedom, you can call it Atma, you can call it soul, center, core, anything. That is awareness. Hmm? That is what Ashtavakra will say about what you are. Bodho Aham. I am both. I am awareness. I am awareness. Just as he says, I am Brahm. Similarly, he says, I am awareness. Hmm? That is what the Upanishadic adage says. Pragyanam Brahm. Gyan is knowledge. Pragyan is awareness. Awareness itself is Brahma. Hmm? So there are enough names. But why be particular about names? Hmm? Because both to awareness, uh, does it have like knowledge in between? Because knowledge is also no. no. In the inherent capacity. Yes. There is no road to awareness and there is nothing in between. All roads are in awareness. Like uh, we begin by reading something. And for a few minutes, it is you can clearly see that it, it is information. Then you have little concept. <coughs> then, while, right? hmm? then after a while, you are making. Firstly, it is informational. Then you make. You know, got hold of some concept and after a while things settle down and you feel that you have understood it not just conceptually but you are also feeling light in your face you can never know awareness this phrase I have understood is a very arrogant phrase when you say you have understood all that it means is that you now have a conclusion now you have been able to fit the topic in your own <laughs> framework I have understood is meaningless and impossible. Awareness proceeds very subliminally. Thought will not know awareness. <clears throat> you cannot keep an eye on awareness. You cannot watch awareness. You can only surrender to it. You can let it do what it does without making any stupid attempts to rein it in. Sir, may I say everything happens in awareness and mind is working according to awareness or mind is also in the awareness? <coughs> See, mind is functioning within awareness. Okay, then for whom? For whom what? Mind is working for whom? Mind is mind working for itself. For itself, okay. And it is happening in awareness. In awareness. But the mind has all the rights to say that awareness is not there. <laughs> the mind is contained, immersed in awareness, but it still has the right to declare that awareness is not there. Not there. Pani me mean pyasi, sunso nave moe hasi. You know that, right? So, in spite of being in it, you can still keep clamoring, I'm missing it. And hence, I want to reach there, become, acquire, and all that. 
because of that illusory blanket of unawareness because of that blanket of unawareness yes so, sir is it right to say that level of awareness is it right or wrong words? wrong very no. wrong mm. levels of consciousness are okay. there levels of awareness are not there sir, rather than talking about like what awareness is should one not actually talk about what this illusory blanket of that is consciousness Oh, that, that illusory bracket is consciousness. Like how, how dense and thick can this blanket get? Yes, yes. So as to like completely lose contact. Yes, yes. Because we people are unaware. Right? I mean, you live. Mm-hmm. Take themselves to be unaware. Yes. Same. I mean, for for the one who is unaware. Right? There is no difference between taking one. No, there is still a difference. You might be totally unaware. yet things will happen to you out of awareness you might keep saying you are unaware you may still fall in love you may keep saying that you are not getting what i am saying still it may do some magic to you so in spite of what you claim things happen but is it the mind's duty to understand it's not a question of duty it's a question of being your own well wisher If the mind doesn't understand, then who suffers? Mind. So the mind may take it as a duty, or as a as an act of love. But if the mind is not surrendered to awareness, it suffers. Okay, so blanket or not doesn't make any difference. The only difference it makes is that with the acknowledgement, you suffer. You suffer. all spirituality starts from that point why am i suffering is it necessary to suffer so so it means awareness is already there in every being so it is all depends on sharp intelligence that intelligence will be knowing itself it depends on how ready you are to acknowledge awareness and mind you awareness is not there in every being every being is there in awareness what you call as every being is a figment of consciousness right now because you are in a particular state of consciousness so you are seeing these beings here if you sleep right now would you see anybody here so what you see and call as people are actually just images in consciousness the state of consciousness changes the people disappear when you are sleeping are these people still there for you awareness cannot be there in you because what you call as yourself and the world is just consciousness 